So here's under the hood. Um, there's uh, a, a 1966 vintage uh, 318 poly. So it's the same as the engine that would have originally been in here. There's currently a uh, an older factory four barrel intake with a 500 CFM Edelbrock. I have uh, updated to a dual reservoir master cylinder. This car has four wheel disc brakes. And I also have a hydraulically actuated clutch uh, that is all factory. Uh, it's got a five speed into it and I'll show you the stick in a minute, but it's a AX15 out of a Dodge Dakota. And it's all pretty much bolt up to the 318 because the Dakotas had uh, V8s and V6s and they have the same uh, crank flange and bell housing bolt pattern and everything. Car has uh, power steering. It didn't originally, but it's this is original uh, 1960 Plymouth power steering that I had uh, rebuilt and then installed. Um, I got a flex fan uh, and everything uh, all the accessories are original except uh, I've updated from a generator to an alternator. Car runs nice. It doesn't overheat. Uh, charges. Everything. Uh, all to, you know, it's been tuned up. You know, plugs, wires. It's got electronic uh, ignition conversion. So there's no points in the distributor. It's got new dual exhaust. Uh, I do have a little bit of a, a, a rub here on this exhaust pipe rubs on the uh, idler arm mount on the frame here. So every once in a while you'll hear that kind of groan. But uh, this is prefabbed exhaust. It was pre-bent. I just installed it laying on my back in the garage here. So it fits pretty well for what it is, but it really needs to go to an exhaust shop to have that fixed up. Uh, the heater box isn't in the car, but I, I do have it. Uh, I can't recall if I have the heater core or not. Uh, I don't care because I, I don't drive this car in the winter. So then getting into the car, it does have a really nice seat. I had this seat completely redone and it's kind of got some cool patterns, dual pattern, but I think it actually looks very nice and it's pretty close to you know, some of the original colors in the car. And uh, it was just kind of modeled after some pictures that I found online of what the interior is supposed to look like. The interior panels uh, are not in very good shape. Um, they're pretty much as they were. There's no headliner. Um, and the back seat isn't great. Uh, the panels in the back seat aren't so bad. They, but they're not great either. The floors, front and rear, both sides have been replaced. I installed seat belts, uh, shoulder straps, uh, but they, they don't have the, uh, uh, the recoil, so they just adjust the size. And they're not mounted anywhere where if you did have a headliner in or all the trim in the, inside the car that you'd be drilling through anything important. And they can easily be removed. So in the dash, uh, this is all pretty dirty. I haven't really cleaned anything. The only thing I've actually cleaned, and you can tell, is the ashtray door, but everything else is pretty much as it came out of the field uh, where it was in Montana. Uh, again, you can see the replaced floors. I don't have any carpet or anything. This is the five-speed stick shift out of a Dodge Dakota. Uh, there's a plate here. I used to have a, f prior to putting the five-speed in, I actually had a four-speed here, and, and it's kind of mounted off to the side of the transmission. So I have this, made this kind of bump out in the floor and I have since just covered it up. But the uh, car drives good. Um, it's actually pretty fuel efficient. It, um, it's got 294 gears currently and with the, the five speed overdrive being 0.79, um, I can run 70 at about 2000 RPM. I've been averaging roughly 18 miles a gallon all around, which is pretty good for a, a V8. Um, this is where the push buttons used to be. It was originally a two-speed automatic car. Uh, steering wheel is actually out of a 59 Dodge. Um, everything else is uh, pretty much exactly how it looked when it came out of the uh, field. 
in Montana. Uh, headliner bows are still there. Uh, sun visors are there, not in very good shape. Nothing in the interior is in very good shape. Uh, however, all the glass is intact, which is nice and kind of surprising really. I did actually have to replace the windshield with a used, with a used piece uh, that I got out of Arkansas. And there's a little bit of fogging around the edges, but it, as far as like clarity, it's pretty good. You can see just fine at night, even with the glare. Um, probably not much to talk about in here. Um, and start it. It's, you know, a cold start. You know, it's 75 degrees today. Stick shift's got just a little bit of a shimmy to it. Idling. Take a look. But walk back by the exhaust. See through here. Yeah. 